What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about how you get Destiny 1 exotics within Destiny 2. But before we get into the video, I am giving away a Rockstar code to one lucky viewer. For a chance of winning this code, simply leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Okay, so bear with me while I explain how all what I state in this video ties in together. Okay, so last night I received a tweet from my follower talking about how he has leaked information on Destiny 2. According to him, he has a family member that works at Bungie who told him the following information. Once weekly, there will be a cave-like activity where teams of three players have to figure out the mechanics of this activity, much like a small red mechanic. These activities will be on a weekly basis and you will be able to do them once per week per character. Now if these activities are completed in a certain time, you will receive elite bonus rewards. The engram rewards for completing these activities are white and reward you with Destiny 1 exotics. Now what he states does sound a lot like Lost Sectors here, but these ain't weekly activities. But for this specific reward, they could be. Bear with me while I explain. Now for sure though, this could be indeed BS. I thought the exact same thing when reading it last night, but then I remembered the IGN video exploring Nessus, where they spoke about such activities, lust sectors, as well as flashpoints. So flashpoints, now the name itself is sometimes associated with past, present and future. Past being a key word here though, if we're talking about Destiny 1 exotics. So what are flashpoints? Before we get into that, it's confirmed the gear for completing a flashpoint activity is prestigious gear, which you guessed it people, it drops as white engrams. Prestigious gear in the form of white engrams, this does tie into the tweet I received. Now listen to Bungie talk about and explain what flashpoints are. So what are flashpoints and how do they work? So we know we knew going into Destiny 2 that we wanted to create a big weekly activity with an awesome reward that everybody could do and that was focused more on the open world, uh, kind of a counterpoint to say the nightfall each week. Um, and we spent a long time exploring different ways in which we could present that and ultimately we realized that public events are one of the most exciting pieces of content that we have, especially with the heroic events and a couple of other things that we're not even talking about yet. So every week we pick one destination and we give you an objective to go to that destination and clear out public events. Um, and then if you, well, after you've cleared out the public events, you come back and you get a pretty awesome reward for it. But there's a few other things that are going on as well. Um, so Cade each week sells a bunch of treasure maps for you to find. Um, and those are always on whatever the featured destination is for the flashpoint. And then there's a bunch of secret bosses that you can only trigger and summon when that destination is the Flashpoint Week. And most of those things are related to the public event. So if you are able to finish a public event quickly, or if you trigger the heroic version of the public event, you might get an extra boss who comes stomping in. And those guys drop extra rewards as well. Uh, and then there's a couple of other things that, that occurred during that week. Okay, so our Flashpoint is a big weekly activity according to Bungie with an awesome reward. So each week they pick one destination and that destination will be a Flashpoint destination. Cade 6 that week also will sell a treasure map which is for that particular picked Flashpoint destination. So they talk about clearing out public events on this Flashpoint location, but you can also trigger heroic bosses on this Flashpoint destination by doing certain activities in a certain time. These heroic bosses drop extra bonus rewards. Now tying in that comment on Twitter with what IGN revealed on Flashpoints, it seems as though when they plan it will be that featured Flashpoint destination, Cade 6 will sell treasure maps, on these treasure maps, one way or another, a Lost Sector I believe will be a featured point of interest. Which I'm thinking, like Bungie say, you'll somehow be able to trigger a boss fight within this Lost Sector. Which if you defeat, prestigious gear will be yours. This makes more sense to me. Okay, so yes, we've cleared that part up. But how did he come to the conclusion of Year 1 Exotics being the rewards here? Well, last night Bungie released a new PvP trailer for Destiny 2. Within this trailer we see a few old Destiny 1 exotic armors. Most people spotted the first exotic piece, that being the Warlock Starfire Protocol. It is no doubt the Starfire, it's the exact same design in every single way. So that was the first spotted exotic. The second exotic, most people including myself missed. This was brought to my attention by my pal Mikey on Twitter. This exotic is the Taken the Titan's exotic helmet. 
On closer inspection, we can see that's definitely the case here. Plus, he's holding a rocket launcher. What more of a confirmation do you need? So Destiny 1 exotics are definitely in Destiny 2. That's two we have seen so far, but I guarantee you guys there are more out there. So yes people, this obviously isn't confirmed, but putting pieces of this jigsaw together, we kind of make a picture out. And on that note guys, I am ending the video. Let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And I will as always guys, see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.